If you like design and gardening, consider becoming a landscape architectural technologist. People in this occupation work with landscape architects, engineers, and other designers and planners, helping to plan outside and inside environments. To learn more, we visited a landscape architectural technologist. I'm Tara McClellan. I'm a landscape architectural technologist. We're in LAT. I assist a landscape architect in creating an outdoor space and the sustainability of our environment. My duties as a landscape architectural technologist are taking a concept that a landscape architect develops and graphically interpreting it so that others can understand what they're saying and taking the drawings and they, it goes through a process where detailed design and construction drawings are completed and it follows through into project management and construction of, of the actual site. When I was in high school, I wanted to take a drafting course and I loved it. I loved the technical end of it, I loved the drawing, I loved the preciseness of it. The education that I needed uh, is a two-year program. Uh, it starts off very generic and uh, becomes more specific where you get into the actual design process, uh, plant material uh, selections. You need to know uh, about plant material, the common names, botanical names. Um, you need to know how they're going to exist um, in, a, in an outdoor area. When hiring LATs, they need to have the two-year diploma specialized in that. They need to be able to think 3D. They need to be able to be creative and innovative in their planning, as well as they need good communication skills, very good attention to detail. They need to be able to look for anomalies that may appear throughout a project. They need to be a team player because they're going to work with project managers as well as planners. And they need to be very client focused. A number of different examples of where you could work um, is the public sector. Uh, private sector. Now public sector being that um, any a municipality, a parks department, an engineering department, um, you could work at a multidisciplinary um, private sector where there's anywhere from engineers, surveyors, engineers, planners, so it, you fit as part of a team to complete a project. Um, sorry, back. Advancement opportunities, when you first graduate you start off as a junior landscape architectural technologist and from there you can move into a senior with years of progression and learning on the job. From there you can mentor to become a landscape architect. Um, there are certain guidelines and with each province they'll have different guidelines in order to do that but you could become a landscape architect from there. Typically the tools and equipment that I use are a computer, graphical programs, AutoCAD, those types of things. But they range in terms of what your duties can be. Graphically, if you are taking the concept um, and you may render it, you may color it, so you'll use crayons or felts. The safety equipment and the precautions you take when you're out on site, you must be wearing your PPE, which is your personal protective equipment. Um, basically, steel-toed boots and your vest, your protective ear, your reflective vest. As a landscape architect, the team that I have here com is comprised of Tara and Brenda as my two senior LATs, and it's very, very important for us in the execution of our projects. We have both internal and external clients, and we're always working under time and budget constraints. So um, having said that, it's very important for us to have clear communication between the three of us I work side by side with Tara as an LAT and as a team we uh, complete drawing packages for clients. Uh, there's many steps involved in the process. I'm involved in the preliminary sketches for the concept design. Then Tara is able to take these concepts and make beautiful drawings from them, make complete drawing packages. In a typical day you work on a lot of different projects. Uh, yes. it's, it, Sometimes on tight deadlines, you'll be really focused on one project, but that doesn't generally happen that much. You will be juggling a number of different projects. You may be working on graphical drawings, um, rendering, coloring up a, a plan for that, or flipping back into construction drawings and detail drawings. To be a good landscape architectural technologist, you need someone who's a team player, who's able to take direction, There'll be lots of changes to your drawings, and so you have to be flexible and, and adaptive to that. Someone who's detail-orientated, and it, you need to be focused. 
There is constant learning on the job with every project and every detail you do, you are learning, which just makes the next project that much better. I work the hours of seven to three, five days a week. It allows me to get home in time to pick the boys up from school and so we can spend the evening together and get homework done and play and just be a part of our family, be a family. Someone who's pursuing this occupation, I would encourage them. I love my job. I would make sure that they understood the roles and duties of the position, but I would definitely encourage them. And I'd encourage them to job shadow so they can see what it's actually like, what it's all about, and get them out to site so that they can see what, what you're talking about. There's a difference between a drawing and the actual site, and you need to have that vision, and I, I would take them to do that. I'm really excited about my career choice. I love contributing to other people's happiness and the environment and creating a space where someone can lose themselves and just play and just be and lose those stresses. That's the best part of this job and that's why I really love it. To become a landscape architectural technologist, you will typically need two years of post-secondary study. If the occupation of landscape architectural technologist interests you, there's more information available, including educational requirements and salary ranges in the Occupational Profiles on ALICE. You may also be interested in the related occupations of Engineering Design and Drafting Technologist, Landscape Architect, or Architectural Technologist. Learn more on the ALICE website and make the most of your future. Visit us at alice.alberta.ca.